Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use layers in Microsoft Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use layers in Microsoft Expression Web 4. In order to use layers in Microsoft Expression Web 4, you want to open Microsoft Expression Web 4 just by clicking the icon. Okay, so in tool, okay, in toolbar or tool menu, it's a tool menu where you can able to see layers, so which is available under HTML tags layers. Okay, you may ask a question: Why I want to use layers? What is special in this layer? Okay, here is the answer. For example, now I want to insert, let us say, and uh, submit button right I want to insert and submit button okay later I want to shift this to center or to the bottom or to the middle or to the right why it's not going because you cannot able to move the control as you like in HTML so what is the solution how can I move these controls yes here is the option so what you have to do is you want to use layers you want to use layers okay so anyway I'm going to use for form control so first I want to use form tag followed by the name you can assign any name as you like and close the form tag and now in between the form tag now we are going to do all the things why you want to use form tag because whenever you go for form controls each and every time if you insert any control it will add a form tag to avoid that each and every time by adding a form tag first you want to include the form tag after your opening body tag and before your closing body tag okay now i'm going to insert layer Okay, fine. Now I'm going to insert an image or picture, and then it will ask for alternate text. Let us say FTI, Fisherman Twining Insure. Click OK, and you can able to resize it. And I'm going to type Fisherman Training Institute Salala and select the text in order to increase the size of the text. Select and go to default size, increase the size, make it italic and bold. And now see select the layer and you can choose the background color as you like later now I'm going to insert one more layer so select the layer and see now we can able to move the layer for example see you can move this layer see it's moving see you can move it and you can place it you can move it around wherever you want so that is the real use of layer so now I'm going for one more layer let us see let us say feedback form feedback form so just select the text make it bold and center and now let us say left alignment okay. 
okay now let us say enter your name so I need a text box see why it's coming like this because see each and every time it's putting a form type so now what you have to do is just select the text and delete it and you delete the form tag now you want to check our code so here you see the form tag has been closed before this layer you cut the closing form tag and paste it before the closing body tag and now I'm going to insert and text see now it's coming on the same line now enter your address okay now I'm going to insert a text area see now it's coming on the same line and now enter your commands comment let us say comments so I need a text area now I want to increase the size of the layer just drag it down so now I want to insert and submit button and just double click the button to change the name here let us say okay submit and click OK and I need a reset button in order to reset it double click the button and change the value let us change the R to caps and click OK now you select this layer and produce or assign a background as you like fine now see thing is you can select the layer now you can move this layer see all the controls are moving in and around the HTML this is a real advantage of using layers okay now before viewing it save it let us create in new folders let us say layer example 2 and open the folder and save it layer. and now you can move it yeah where you can type your name let us say graphic address fisherman training salala and later command good so if you want to submit you can use the submit button if you want to reset the values you can able to reset so this is the real use of layer I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.